Today I will read three readings. I have already done a pre-reading. The first reading is coming from the book of John, chapter 14. And you can turn with me. The first reading is John, chapter 14, um, from verse 8 to 14. And I will commence reading. The Bible says, Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that, and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip? Even after I have been among you such a long time, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you are not just my words, my own. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Verse 11. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or at least believe in the evidence of the miracles themselves. I tell you, you are the truth. Anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. Now, if you are in Christ, you can do what Christ was doing. He was doing miracles. Now, he will do even greater things. You need to underline that. And you will even do greater things that Jesus did than this. Because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name. So that the Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask me for anything in my name. And I will, I will do it. Now, the second reading comes from... Chapter 15, verse 7 and 16. And the Bible says this, verse 7 of the same chapter, you can just go to the second uh, page. Verse 7 says this, um, If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be given to you. Verse 16 says this, um, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. The third reading, the third reading. Some of you are enjoying, if you came from SCK or Catholic. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> the third reading, 16 from verse 23. Just the, the second passage, uh, 16 from verse 23 to 28. Just five, five verses. In that day, you will no longer ask me anything. I tell you the truth. My Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. Until now, you have not asked for anything. I want to believe that you asked for something when uh, the Rona was here. But you are giving thanks. You have not asked for anything. He says that. In my name, ask, you will receive and your joy will be complete. Verse 25. Though I have been speaking figuratively, a time is coming when I will no longer use this kind of language, but I will tell you plainly about my Father. In that day, you will ask in my name. Am I not saying that I will ask the Father on your behalf? No. The Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from the Lord. Verse 28. I came from the Father and entered the world. Now I'm leaving the world and going back to the Father. That is the word of God. Now, in his presence, as our theme comes from the words of Jesus, when he's preparing his departure. So he's actually preparing his absence. You understand? Assume that you want to leave this earth, and many of you want to leave where no, we will leave suddenly at one point. You would want your presence to be fed in your absence. Now, the disciples are doubting that Jesus, when he leaves, now the absence will continue to be there. This is the theme of this whole passage from verse 13, from chapter 13 to all actually almost the whole of the passage because the Gospels ends with Jesus 
actually departing. So they're asking him, you are going away. Will we be with you? So he's saying, although I'm going, I will be with you. So his absence in body meant his presence with the disciples. So he's doing a farewell speech to the disciples. And I want us to look at some few things. We'll be doing this exposition uh, at the whole of January and you'll be able to understand that. But let me just go straight to the word of God in my notes. Most of us live in a very close system in which God does not intervene at all. In fact, we work with our own strength. Some of us have just come to pray for our plans and we think God is far away. It is a naturalistic system that is rolling on, on its own, and there is no divine interfer interference at all. You ask yourself, who do I know and where do they sit? That is the way we live. Many of us believe, even to our children, that they cannot get jobs without corruption. It is a naturalistic system where we believe that you must know somebody. Amen. We've been having one of our major events next year. It's our 10th anniversary. We're expecting that the president will be here. But before he comes here, because we are praying, we want that change of user to be here. So that we, we know our Father who is present with us. Amen? So John presents to us a miracle working Jesus. He performs certain works or signs. He calls them signs because they are not just wonders, but they, also, but they also point to a certain direction. They are a window in heaven that allows us to see the love of God, and God is. It is in this context that he had the disciples in a private session. The people that are asking Jesus about his imminent departure, they were not just mere, they were people who walked to Jesus and they saw his miracles. I want to want to remember that yes, I want to advise you to make an hour to get a great ministry. I want to put on a police a key to your Bible to discuss from Putan. And I can become a poor baby, a poor persuaded. They seem not persuaded that Jesus was doing the miracle. And he says them, you will do even greater things. I think that was a greater word to Philip. So it is a farewell discourse, as many have been able to talk about that. And I want us to look at this and believe that God is going to minister to us tonight and help us understand that God will go with him. Even when he's away in the body, we can do greater things. His concerns were not only on reassuring them, because he attempts to assure them that even when I go, I am with the Father. He is very connected to whoever sent him. But he also affirmed them to the continuity of the ministry. What we have been praying about in this place. That the ministry of Christ will continue and continue. On what premise was this ministry going to continue? On the premise of the Holy Spirit. His presence. Are we together? His body will depart. But his voice or his spirit will be there. The Holy Spirit. So he affirms them and talks about that particular contact. He points out to the three aspects that were almost too daring to attempt. I just want to look at that and then we'll be able to continue. What are the secrets that Jesus gives the disciples? That indeed for you to get this outcome, you'll be able to get what you want. He gives them three things that I want us to look at. One is that they must dare to believe. And secondly, that they must dare to act. And thirdly, they must dare to ask. Dare to believe. Tell somebody, dare to believe. Yes. Many of us don't believe. I have never paid any cent for our job. In fact, my wife has resigned four times. The last time she resigned, I said, I think you don't get any job. And she got a job. We had never lived in Kakamega because actually, my ID given to Kakamega is because along the way, I was just looking for a relationship. Amen? So, um, in a way, we've been able to live and do whatever we have been able to do um, because of belief, dare to believe. Amen? 
So as a Christian, if you look at verse 14, chapter 14, verse 10, to verse 11, and verse 11, we see that the believer in Jesus will do the same works as himself, as Jesus was able to do. Amen? Believe this Jesus. Some of us who are believing for promotion, some of us are having our children that are past exams, they will be called to schools you can't afford. We want to trust that you will be able to pay the school fees. Those are the experts we are talking about. Amen? Some of us, I want to dare you. You know, to dare to believe, I'm daring you to go and do experts. When the upper and God, you will use the shamba. Eh? Beyak. Amen. Dare believe. <laughs> Other Bibles talks about there were some extraordinary exploits that were going to happen. It was a daring belief. Amen? What are your beliefs in this coming year? What are some of your beliefs? I would want to see men and women full of faith attempting to do exploits for Christ. Ordinary people doing extra to ordinary. Amen? One has to be with. They have to believe and see. One of the things I did at one point that I saw it happen, um, I went somewhere and I sat to a certain seat and said, Lord, I claim this seat. It was not here at Nikon. When I was at the center, I sat to the manager's seat and I claimed it because I used to sit there because no one was coming. And God is looking at that. They believe God for moving your family. They believe God in your church. Dare believe God for your country. Some of us can dare believe God for tenders and projects and put them in the bedroom. Need to be able to get some. They really count down on the screen. You can remove my PowerPoints because I'm very sharp. <laughs> Amen. Dare believe that God is an amazing God and is going to do great things in your life. Dare believe. Some of us really believe that God can move in our affairs. Believe alone is not enough. You are supposed to dare to act. Worship team, please you should be joining me in some few seconds. We want to be able to do a count. Dare to act. Greater works encounter because he was going to the Father and as both the Father and the Holy Spirit would come to dwell to the believer. Amen. He was going. After we arrived those good projects and good prospects, we are supposed to act. Amen. Amen. Now, those are how we are going to get the exploits. We will not just believe and end there. Thank God some of you have made a step and come to church. We are supposed to also do the same outside there. Apply when you realize you don't get a response. Move to that office and ask, did you receive my application? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They ask them, that, did you receive that application? We are almost in the new year. We can stand on our feet. It is that seven seconds. That four. Okay. Amen. I believe when I'm acting, I'm not losing sight. Amen. Until next year is 25. It's 24, 21, 20, 19, oh, 16, 15, 14, 15, 
and then they will come back again and we proceed. May you be seated, all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Reverend Martin, for alerting me. I see that we preach at the next year. So it's this year now. The year 2023. The year of the Lord. I started to preach last year, 2022. And I'm still here. The same message. I was on topic number, the title number two. Amen. There to act. Amen? Amen. And the Lord is good. I'm hoping you actually manage to say to your neighbor, Happy New Year 2023. The Lord is good. And I love what I'm hearing and seeing in the worship team. We want that presence of God to be here. So I was saying that you know when Jesus was with the disciples and he asked them to dare to believe. And he dares them to act that they can ask and they can receive. So he asked them in uh, verse 12 of chapter 14, I was trying to rush thinking that I would manage to preach this message until I was told in four minutes. He says, I tell you the truth, anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. Now, it moves from believing to doing. And that is very paramount to us as we begin this new year, God wants to dare some of you to act. Now you have the hustler band. Go and take the hustler band. Don't buy the donuts because the new year. Buy donuts for sale. Amen. Even that 300, somebody was making jokes and he said, it's little money. If it's little money, then you are not a hustler. So when you take the 800 and put them in investment, then you are a hustler. You can get 800 in the evening, and then you pay in 14 days, okay? Actually, if you do it repeatedly, you will see how much it can produce. It can produce immense profit. Amen? I used to sell some vegetables when I finished Hong Kong. So I could actually go with 600 mutoni. Mutoni is a place that they would go in the morning, so you buy vegetables of 600, in the evening, actually, the division, the math was, I just split into two. So that we shilling in another shilling. And it used to make sense. So I have 600. That was a good amount of money in 2005, 2006, 2004. So if I actually compute 600 times that, I was earning 18,000. What some of you don't earn now when you are getting the new employment? I was a teacher, I know what some of you are paid. I used to pay people. I was sitting where I would like. So I was making more money and greater money. This is what you are saying. Dare act. There is no small investment. Some of us, I know we are learning. We could want to fold our shirts and do something. Dare to act. And the Bible says, if you can do greater work than Jesus, I don't know what that is. That is exploits when you are in the presence of God. Amen? Amen. God will do tremendous things to us when we put our faith to act to work, moving from believing to doing in Jesus' name. When some of you start building, is when you realize you can finish. I saw my brother complete the house. I kept on asking, how much can it cost to do this house? I kept on telling me you need to have like three million shillings. And my credit work was capped at 1.2. So it means that my house will never go beyond the window level if I followed my brother. So one day I realized he finished his house, he's doing a kitchen, and I asked my dad in law, how much is it? He told me just to be able to cover this much, that's costed me. Then I realized I could be able to do that. You need to get up somebody that will inspire you from believing and asking to start doing, and then you do greater works, and that God will bless you. And finally, there ask. I don't know whether this was going to be the first one before this one. But Jesus did not stop there. He went on and made a great declaration about asking him. John chapter 14, verse 13 to 14 says, Whatever you ask in my name, that will I do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything, now, anything for the glory of God, God will grant you. I think we have not received it because we have not asked. When you ask for a cathedral in this place, God will grant us a cathedral. Some of us, you should not get tired if you're seeking to get a baby 
girl, baby boy, or anybody, you need to ask. Some of us who are, want to get promotion in Africa, you don't ask for promotion. But I want to dare tell you, dare to ask. This is daring. I'm teaching about dare to believe, dare to ask. Ask and then you will be received. Amen. Praise the Lord. Dare ask. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Dare ask. Then you will receive in Jesus' name. It is risky to ask. But there, ask. That is what Jesus is telling me. There are similar statements actually about daring to ask. John chapter 15, verse 7, we ask, they say, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish. Now, this is very dangerous. You cannot actually just ask. Jesus is daring them to ask whatever they wish, and it will be done to them. Look at now. John chapter 15 verse 16, he said, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you would go and bear fruit and that your fruit would remain so that whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give to you. Children of God have not been asking well. Today I was in a function or yesterday or last year. All of them make the similar. That last month, all of them made are correct. <laughs> so we were somewhere. <laughs> And uh, someone said, we pray for this country to have peace. And indeed we pray. You know, you guys, you see so many ministers come to Eldoret and we did men. We pray. But God honored our prayer. Because we ask. We need to keep the same spirit in 2023, even though we don't have elections. And God will be honored in our prayers. We should dare ask Him. John chapter 16 from 23 to 24, he said, In that day you will not question me about anything. Truly, truly, I say to you, if you ask the Father for anything in my name, he will give to you. But it, he says, until now, you have not asked anything. One of the things I know some of you have not asked, you have not asked God for bigger things. I know you have tried to ask, but you have not asked God for bigger things. You have not dared. He told them, you have not asked anything. In fact, they were just asking whether Jesus was going to go to heaven, which was already planned. Some of you have only asked what you can manage. You have not gone to the point of daring God to move in your favor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And this is what I want to tell you in the year 2023. Because life has gone up. It will never come down. Let me tell you. The other day I was driving and I was asking, I was asking, Right away, you don't need to be angry and keep him in. So what I can do? I believe. Because up at Juliana, he shook a juice. He can shook a shilling more. Now in the band, a shilling is that five. He can end a ten and a that five. He go shook a boom. I can only ask God to double my income. This is what I'm talking about. Yes. These are, some of you are only asking for things that seem possible. Our students will be going to school. We know they will go to school. Now we should be asking that they will go to a greater, better school. I think that is good asking. It was known he was going to go. In fact, when he was with them, he told them in John chapter 14, verse 1, that I'm going to go. But they keep on just asking the same thing. Now, you have not asked. So don't leave. We're going to ask God before you go. Amen? Amen. Something that God needs to do for you and for your family. You have not asked anything. In fact, he also asked and said, you have not asked in my name. Now, this is to me that some of the exploits we think we want to do in 2023, if it's not in God's glory, in fact, it's mentioned in one of the passages I've read, I think it was 14 from verse 8 all the way to 14 there. He says that it may glorify the Father. If it is not going to glorify the Father, God will not be honored. Are we together? Like the prayers now destroy my enemies. Those ones will not be honored. I can dare tell you. <laughs> Those ones will not be honored. It's only that you will go higher until your enemies will not catch you. Amen. Those ones will be honored. They must glorify the Father. God is not glorified in us troubling over others. Or destroying them for our success. Amen. So you must ask. And ask in his name and ask that God will be glorified. God will be honored in that prayer. Amen? Some of you have got tired to do good. To do good for your family and to have good friends. 
let me tell you, for God to be glorified, ask for more. That God will bless you to do great in your family. You know what happened at Christmas? The relatives. I'm just speaking uh, figuratively. I can't blame you now. <laughs> Don't fear to go home. Ask that this year, God will bless them. When I go home, these people that end up just asking for my man, I can bless them and have enough. This is the thing we're talking about in this place. Going above that because we ask in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Thus, thank you for the year coming earlier so I can explain my points. Now, the last scripture in terms of asking, 16 verse 27 to 26 and 27. In that day you will ask in my name, and I do not say to you that I will request of the Father on your behalf. Jesus will not go and ask on our behalf. But the Father himself loves you, and he loves me, because you have loved me, and I believe that I came forth from the Father. At that point, each one of us will go before God and say, God, I have come before you. I feel a legitimate child. How come there are people that are enjoying elsewhere and not me? So God will grant you. So you will have asked, and you will be able to receive. This invitation to ask, is I've already mentioned, is to ask in Jesus' name. Anytime we pray, ask in Jesus' name. And God will grant you. Ask what would bring God's glory. I mentioned that. If you ask that, some of us, if you ask to change even this world upside down for God's glory, God will grant you that. God will grant you that. He will bring it to fruition in Jesus' name. To ask what will bring full joy. To us as believers, you will do something that will please you. God will be honored in that, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to conclude. I said it was to be a brief sermon. Then we have to make some declaration, serious declaration. Have you asked God anything? What are you daring to ask? Daring to ask. I want us to be on our foot and make some declarations together. Let's all be outstanding. We want to make declarations. I will read and you repeat. This I have borrowed from one man of God. This is the year of asking. You've never seen this. Uh, yeah, but this is scripture. God wants us to ask. Amen. Amen. And I loved it when I saw the Pentecostal and the Simon. The people who are here, they actually proved that what I'm going to do is right. I felt nice. Say, I decree, I decree and declare. I decree and declare that that is none to be worshipped except the Lord God except the Lord God who made the heavens and the earth. Who made the heavens and the earth. I decree and declare. I decree and declare that God is the Alpha and the Omega. That God is the Alpha and Omega. He begins and he completes. He begins and he completes. I will rely on his strength. I will rely on his strength. And use his word to bring him glory. And use his word to bring him glory. I decree and declare. I decree and declare that God is showing us the treasures of darkness. And God is showing us the treasures of darkness. And the riches in secret places. And the riches in secret places. We shall acknowledge, we shall acknowledge that he is the Lord and there is no other. That he is the Lord and there is no other. I decree and declare, I decree and declare that the blessing of the Lord makes rich. That the blessing of the Lord makes rich. And adds no sorrow to it. And adds no sorrow to it. I decree and declare. I decree and declare that our God is a God of abundance. That our God is a God of abundance. He lacks nothing. He lacks nothing. He can he can be bribed by nothing. He can be bribed by nothing. He is self-sufficient. He is self-sufficient. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the glory and honor and honor in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare. I declare and declare that every good and perfect gift. That every Good and perfect gift comes from the Father, comes from the Father, above in whom there is no shadow of turning. There is no shadow of turning. I decree and declare, I decree and declare, who are not decreeing and declaring, I decree and declare, I decree and declare, that the Lord who gave King Solomon, that the Lord who gave King 
the wisdom and understanding that he asked for that he asked for is is the same God is the same God gifting me gifting me with riches with riches and wealth and wealth to fulfill his purposes to fulfill his purposes on earth on earth I decree and declare I decree and declare that Jesus Christ that Jesus Christ is the eternal wealth of God is the eternal wealth of God is the way is the way and the truth and the truth and the life and the life no one comes to the father no one comes to the father except through him except through him i decree and declare i decree and declare that god that god is the one who supplies seed to the sower is the one who supplies seed to the bread for food and bread for food he will supply and increase my store he will supply and increase my store and enlarge the harvest of my righteousness I decree and declare I decree and declare that whatever is true whatever is true whatever is noble whatever is noble whatever is admirable whatever is whatever is excellent whatever is excellent I will think of this I will think of this this will be my mindset in 2023 this is my mindset in 2023 I decree and declare I decree and declare that I will not be conformed that I will not be conformed to this world to this world and the way it thinks and the way it I will instead be transformed I will instead be transformed by the renewal of my mind by the renewal of my mind so that I will know so that I will know what the will of God is what the will of God is what is good what is good and acceptable and acceptable and perfect and perfect I decree and declare I decree and declare that plans of the diligent that plans of the diligent lead to profit lead to profit I surely as has I surely as has lead to poverty lead to poverty I will seek to be excellent I will seek to be excellent in my work in my work so that the Lord bless the work of my hands so that the Lord bless the work of my hands in Jesus name in Jesus name I decree and declare I decree and declare that the promises of God are yes that the promises of God are yes in a, in Christ in Christ and we respond with amen I respond with amen I will believe the promises of God I believe the promises of God God is not a man God is not a man he should lie and he should lie what he says he will do what he says he will do I declare prosperity I declare prosperity that comes my way that comes my way in the form of ideas in form of ideas concepts concepts and principles and principles the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. that we dare to believe yes. that we will dare to do yes. and we will dare to ask yes. we have asked according to your word yes. according to different scripture portions mm. and this year is a year of our prosperity yes. is a year of our growth some of us have stagnated for a long period of time yes. we decree and declare that you are lifting us up O oh God Amen. for your glory yes. we thank you Lord thank you. even us who are faint hearted Who may not say this prayer feebly and not knowing what we are saying we want to believe in you that Lord you are carrying us on your wing to lead us and to guide us may the year 2023 be a year of your move yes. be a year of your presence yes. even if it seems that you are absent we thank you Lord may your exploits be known to us yes. in our midst yes. in our workplaces yes. in our children yes. in all places that we will be found our God that we may be called blessed amen we honor you and we thank you in Jesus name we pray amen amen i dare you to believe i dare you to ask i dare you to go and do something in the kingdom of God we will continue to pray and then the worship team will come last week to give us the celebration and that we are going to celebrate now and then we pray so worship team please come to people are not seated we want to celebrate the lord you can tell god one prayer item that you want god to do as they come just close your eyes and just say two or three things that you want god to help you in the name of jesus
Some of us are having land that they are not developing. I dare you to go and ask us to go and dedicate that without money in the name of Jesus, that you are going to put an apartment that will be used to service you in the work of God in Jesus' name. Some of us want to go back to school. I dare you to go and take that application form and be able to submit in Jesus' name. Some of you need to walk some financial institution and ask them whether they can finance your plans, and that will be okay in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the Lord do teach you as you pass in Jesus' name.